Hello everyone, myself Navda Soni, Assistant Professor in the Department of Quality Assurance at Elgin Institute of Pharmacy. Today we will discuss antiviral agents. First of all, what is antiviral agent? These are the drugs which are used specifically for treating viral infection. We know that viruses are intracellular parasite, smallest self-replicating organism and able to pass through filter that retain the smallest bacteria. We know that they have no metabolic process on their own, but they require host cell, which may be plant, animal or bacterial cell. If we want to develop antiviral drug, so we have to understand the structure of virus. So here, that is here, the structure of virus is given. Outer part is envelope protein, which will adsorb with host cell, okay? And af then after, there is an envelope, which is known as capsid. Inside that capsid, DNA and RNA are enclosed and other nucleic acid or other genetic material, okay? So all the structure, whole structure is enclosed with this capsid. These are the steps for viral replication process. First step is adsorption and penetration into the susceptible host cell. After that uncoating of this host uh, uh, viral cell, then after synthesis of DNA, RNA and other uh, regulatory protein, maturation period and release from that cell. So, so these five steps are important for viral replication process. First, adsorption and penetration, uncoating, synthesis of DNA and RNA and other genetic material, maturation period, and last is release from the cell. The major part is classification of antiviral drugs. So these seven classes are most important for antiviral uh, drugs, first is purine nucleoside and nucleotide, pyrimidine nucleoside and nucleotide, thiosamic arbazones, benzimidazoles, admantine amines, interferons, and miscellaneous agents. We will see one by one. First is purine nucleoside and nucleotide. This is the, uh, there is the example of a cyclovir and gencyclovir are purine nucleoside. Here you can see the structure of this two drugs, a cyclovir and gencyclovir with minor differences. What is the mechanism of this purine nucleoside? We know that this purine and this purine nucleoside analog, which resembles with purine and purines, are used in the synthesis of DNA. If faulty purine nucleoside or nucleotide gets incorporated into the DNA structure, so ultimately faulty DNA will be formed. And if faulty DNA will be formed, the viral cell death is achieved. Okay, so this uh, acyclovir gets incorporated into, DNA, into the DNA synthesis and ultimately viral cell death. What is the use of this acyclovir? This is ultimately used in the treatment of herpes simplex viruses, particularly type 1. In GTU syllabus, they have mentioned the synthesis of acyclovir. So, these are the few steps for the synthesis of acyclovir. Next class is pyrimidine nucleoside and nucleotide. Trifuridine and iodoxyuridine are the examples of pyrimidine nucleoside and log. With there is a, uh, uh, I have given a structure of this trifluridine and iodoxyuridine with minor differences. In iodoxyuridine, there is an iodine molecule, while in the case of trifluridine, this is a fluorine molecule. What is the mechanism of action? See, it is same like. Uh, purine nucleoside and nucleotide. If faulty purine uh, nucleoside gets incorporated uh, into the DNA structure synthesis, 
if same in the case of pyrimidin if faulty pyrimidins are get uh, faulty pyrimidin gets incorporated into the dna uh, synthesis so ultimately viral cell death is achieved so here adduxuridin acts as a antiviral against dna viruses it is phosphorylated by thymidine kinase to active triphosphate what is the use of uh, this adduxuridin ultimately topical treatment of herpes simplex virus infection of eyelid ultimately it act on eye infection uh, occurred by herpes simplex virus third class is thalassemic carbazone the example is methazone what is the mechanism of action of this methazone this antiviral action of thalassemic carbazone is perhaps due to the formation of metal chelate with metal various metal ion like copper zinc nickel iron manganese etc and methazone does act by interacting with metal enzymes that are necessary for the viral replication process and this thalassemic carbazone may also react directly and specifically with viral nucleic acid use ultimately it is prophylactic against against the smallpox and for the prevention and treatment of treatment of generalized dyspepsia next is benzimidazole we know that uh, benzimidazole are widely used in different uh, disease but here it is an enhancer of interferon induction a possible result of inhibition of interferon rna synthesis of the shut off the interferon production and it is used in the viral uh, it, it is used in the inhibition of viral rna synthesis next is admantanamine admantadine uh, and rimantadine are the examples of admantanamine here the structure is given with uh, uh, small difference <clears throat> what is the mechanism of action of this admantadine or admantadine amantadine and rimantadine it allows viral adsorption on the host cell but inhibits the uncoating uncoating of influenza virus and prohibit penetration of viral genome into the host cell because the viral cell remain adsorbed on this host surface it becomes susceptible to attack by host antibodies okay what is the use of this admantadine ultimately it is used in the treatment of influenza infection it is active against numbers of dna and rna viruses in vitro next phase interferon what is interferon they are glycoprotein with strong antiviral activities that represent one of the host one of the first line defense of host against invading pathogen this proteins are classified into the major three groups type 1 type 2 and type 3 interferons based on the structure of their receptor on the cell surface due to their ability to modulate immune response they have become attractive therapeutic options to control chronic viral infection interferon synthesis and liberation in animal can be induced by two mechanism one is biological mechanism or biological inducers and chemical inducers in the case of biological inducer they include this include human leukocyte fibroblast and lymphoblastoid cell while in the chemical while in the case of chemical inducer there is a synthetic analog of double stranded rna these are the miscellaneous agents like urea and thiourea guanidine and biguanidine heterocyclic dyes gamma globulin antibodies and other investigational viral antiviral drugs the major class that is antiretroviral agent or anti hiv agent before we start 
the classification of antiretroviral drugs or anti hiv agents we have to understand the structure of this hiv cell and its application cycle or life cycle so here it is given the stru structure or structure of hiv cell and its application process classification of antiretroviral drugs mainly six classes nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor that is nrtis non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor that is nnrtis and protease inhibitor these are the main classes while enter inhibitor that is ccr5 receptor antagonist integrase inhibitor and fusion inhibitors are also given first is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor this first line agent there are nucleoside and nucleotide analog differ from normal substrate only by minor modification in sugar moiety or ribose molecule you can see here the lamivudin salcitabine and didanosine there is a small difference in ribose sugar or uh, ribose molecule okay but all uh, other structure is same but the minor difference in the ribose molecule what is the mechanism of action of this nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor name itself suggests it is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor it means it will inhibit the nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme ultimately it interrupt hiv replication cycle via competitive inhibition of hiv reverse transcriptase and termination of the dna chain next is non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor which were introduced in 1996 with approval of nevirapine potent against hiv1 dalviridine uh, uh, dalviridine and loviride <clears throat> are the examples of non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor all exhibit same mechanism of action it also inhibits reverse transcriptase hiv reverse transcriptase is hetero dimer composed of two sub unit one is p66 unit and p51 and this nnrti is bind with p66 sub unit at hydrophobic pocket distinct from active site of enzyme this non competitive binding induces a conformational change in enzyme they are the most potent drugs and last is protease inhibitor which were introduced in 1995 they are integral part of treatment name itself suggests it is protease inhibitor it means it inhibit the protease enzyme example are ritonavir and indinavir mechanism of action hiv proteases 99 amino acid aspartic acid protein which are responsible for maturation of viral particles late in the viral life cycle systematically cleaves individual protein from gag and dig pole and ultimately competitive inhibitor of protease enzyme and directly bind with hiv protease and prevent subsequent cleavage of polypeptide thank you thank you for watching me